Hello everyone, this is David at Grow and Eat This. I will do a video and, and show you how all the different berries that we've planted. Most of these are new for us this year and I want to show you what's been happening to them. Now, over there you can see that's the original raspberry plant we planted last year. And this is one here I added in this year. And this mass of raspberry plants are just appearing. Now, I know there's a couple of kinds of raspberries, and this is a kind that's supposedly like fruits for a longer, much longer period of time. We have had incredible rain for days and days and days. And, oh, I have to tell you, if you haven't had plucked from the vine raspberries, you've never really had a raspberry. And these are just falling apart. Mmm. Oh, they're so good. They're so, so good. So, as long as these guys aren't being too bad, I'm going to just let them run. And we'll get even more raspberries next year. We have been picking raspberries till we really don't know what to do with them. Ah. They are just outstanding. And there are so many. And I just keep eating them. These were a great addition to the garden. Mm. Yes, they have seeds. But they're pretty big. So we're going to let this raspberry patch here just kind of take over. Now, in that same vein, I got a mulberry bush. And this was tractor supply, just a stick when I planted it this spring. And as you can see, it has really gone crazy. Uh, earlier, this thing had so many mulberries on it that it was insane. Uh, and then the birds found them, and they were like instantly gone. So next year, I, I know I'll have to put some netting around these mulberries. Uh, so now as we like work over here through the garden, as we pass by, I have no idea where these elephant ears came from. I don't know for sure I've ever bought elephant ears. Um, so we've got to come down here, passing through the garden, and we're going to come to the blueberries. We have four blueberry bushes. This is the latest one to develop. And as you can see, the harvest size on this thing is insane. Just look at all the blueberries. And this is the latest one. Now we've already picked almost 20 pounds of blueberries. Uh, that equates to about 12 quarts that we've got in the freezer. Plus we've been eating blueberries, feeding them to the dog. Everybody gets blueberries for any kind of an excuse. Uh, we put the bird netting up, which so far is working. Except I can get my little fingers through there most, most of the time without losing the blueberry. There we go. Look at the size of these blueberries. These things are just huge. Hope you saw what they look like because they're gone. Hmm. Oh, then we come down to this first one. And you're just seeing, you know, I don't know how many quarts of additional picking for blueberries there are, but I don't know what we'll do with them. Hmm. So maybe I'll just keep eating the little guys. Oh, these are also gigantuan. Uh, but as you can see, the ability to pick, you could just stand here probably and, and pick a gallon of blueberries and not even move around off this one bush. So, fabulous year. It's been really, really hot here lately. It's been raining a lot lately. Uh, but the nights are cooler. So even though it's been like, you know, close to 90 in the, 
in the heat of the day, the nights have been like in the 60s. So it's like happy times for the for the blueberries. So now we're going to come down here to my oh, choking on blueberry seed. <coughs> Don't laugh. This seemed like a really good idea when I did it. But this is my blackberry patch. <laughs> There's already horrendously outgrown, but. I'm going to have to get it covered up because, as you can see, lots and lots of flowers. And an incredible number of blackberries coming. So These are pretty cool. I had blackberries in another spot and I moved the, the plants down here. So now I have blackberries in two spots because enough fell off and rooted that in the original spot I now have the ground covered in blackberries. I keep taking these things and trying to train them. I'm not the best trainer, obviously, to run along the wire. So that does the raspberries, blueberries, mulberries, and blackberries. There are also some strawberries, but they're way up on the other side of the yard. And they're not... Ooh! Ooh! Oh! 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 Check it out! Check it out! It's not quite ripe, but it will never see the light of day. Mmm! Mmm! It's a little tart, but it's the first blackberry. Oh, I'm going to be in trouble when I tell the story inside the house that I ate the first blackberry. Now, the ending to the story, particularly with the mulberries, is, is kind of funny because I'm going to pan over here. This gigantic tree in the backyard of the people next door is a mulberry tree. This tree has more than doubled in size this year. It is shading out this whole area where I try and grow the shadier things, but there's like no sunlight at all. Oh. And it has, maybe still has, let's see if there's enough light up here to show you there. Can you see all the mulberries? No, the lighting is not good. It's very, very cloudy. It's supposed to be storming in a little while. And it's already 8.30. Oh, there's, there's some ready to eat. If I can climb up there to them. As you can see, what a crop of mulberries. So. Now, mulberries are kind of like blackberries, sort of. What I find is I hold them by the stem, and then I just kind of mash them and suck off the juice. And you end up with this. And you reach up and grab another one and say, I think I can do better. Mm. That one broke off, so I'll just have to eat the whole thing. These are just incredibly good. And for some reason, I don't know why, the birds don't seem to have found them. As you can see, they're just everywhere. Ripe. So, I don't feel too bad that the the birds ate all my little mulberries because I'll, I'll net them up next year. But this tree is just overflowing with them. Now as we come up to the side of the house by the driveway, we come up to the goji berry. As you can see, it's blooming, getting ready to start making some berries. 
this has gotten to be a really big bush. There's another one uh, kind of down. We have a real strong slope here. Uh, and then we move over to my absolute prized berries. Of all the ones you've seen, the prized berries are the elderberry bushes. The elderberry bushes are, I cut them down, I guess, to about three feet. I have to hurry up here, it's starting to rain. To about three feet. They just look like sticks, and I, every year I think, man, I've killed them. And then here we are, June 23rd, and look at these things. And boy, do they make the berries. We pick mountains of flowers to make uh, elderberries and uh, cordials and, and drinks. See, here's one that flowered that almost, almost made almost no berries. Almost no berries there. But then you look at these other ones, and they're just covered. Look at all the berries. Now in the fall again, I'll cut all these back down. And after you look at this big bush, here's another one. And it's easily 10, 11, 12 feet tall. And it too is just covered in berries. And then there's my other goji berry. And behind it, I got to get up here out of the rain is my other elderberry bush. That I just stuck a stick in the ground last year. Wow, I've really got to get out of this. <laughs> so we just barely got all this done for you. And we've got another delightful rain starting to fall. I'm sure you can hear it. Uh, it's, I had to come back out to do the elderberry with the rain. So it's about 12.30, you know, lunchtime right now. And the rain was supposed to show up about now, and here it is. And it'll be off and on for the rest of the day. So this is David at Grow and Eat This. Please subscribe. And if you're anywhere in Zone 7, look at all the berries you can grow. Uh, we have really enjoyed them, and they're really tasty and delicious. And, of course, the elderberries are the prize because the elderberry syrup tastes really good, it's good for you, and it's very, very expensive to buy. And it's, it's time consuming, it's very labor intensive, but it's delicious when you make your own. This is David at Grow and Eat This. Thank you for watching.